Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to solve uh, linear inequalities. Um, a linear inequality is pretty much the same as an equation, but instead of the equal sign, we're going to have an inequality sign. So there's a few different signs that we can have. We can have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Those are the four different signs that we can have now. Um, in inequalities instead of our equal sign. Before I start uh, a couple of examples, just an important rule that you need to know. If we multiply or divide by a negative number, we must change the direction of the inequality sign. And I have a video uh, that shows the reason why this is. If you click this link right here, it'll take you to a video that shows why that is the case. Okay, let's take a look at this example right here. So we have three times x minus six is less than four times x minus one plus five, and x is an element of z, so x is an integer. Okay, so uh, we're gonna treat this just like we treat a normal equation. So I'm gonna start by multiplying out the brackets. So I'll get three x minus 18 is less than four x minus four plus five. Okay, I'm going to tidy the two of these up here. I get 3x minus 18 is less than 4x minus 4 plus 5 is plus 1. <clears throat> okay, the same as what I would do with an equation, I'm going to get uh, my unknowns to one side and my constants to another side. So I'm going to get rid of this 18 minus 18 here by adding 18 to both sides. And I'm going to remove this 4x from here by subtracting 4x from both sides. So I get 3x minus 4x, which is minus x. 18 plus 18, 0. Less than 4x minus 4x is 0. 1 plus 18 is 19. Now I have minus x is less than 19. So I'm going to have to multiply by minus 1. Now, remember this rule here. If I multiply or divide by a negative, I need to change the direction of the inequality. So I'm multiplying by minus 1. I get x and I get minus 19. But now, in the middle of the inequality, my inequality sign will change direction. And it's x is greater than minus 19. <clears throat> now, I can show that on a number line. Quick sketch here, x is greater than minus 19 and it's an element of z, so the way we represent that is solid dots and everything greater than minus 19, we don't include minus 19 this time and we only include the integers and then the arrow at the end will signify that this goes on forever in this direction here. Okay, let's take a look at another example. This time it's x plus 2 over 3 is less than x plus 1 over 4 plus a third. And x is an element of or this time, the real numbers. And this will, uh, this will affect how we graph the number on the number line at the end. So just like with equations, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these fractions by multiplying by the lowest common denominator which in this case is 12. So multiplying everything by 12, I get 12 times x plus 2 over 3 is less than 12 times x plus 1 over 4 plus 12 times a third. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so over here um, I have 12 and I have a third, so 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 12 is 4, so that gives me 4 times x plus 2, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 2 is 8. Over here, 4 into 4 is 1, 4 into 12 is 3, so 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 1 is 3, and then here, 12 times a third is 4. Okay, let's tidy up the right-hand side here. So I get 4x plus 8 is less than 3x plus 7. Let's take 
x's to one side, numbers to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides and I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. That leaves me with, on the left, x less than, on the right, minus 1. So x is less than minus 1 and it's an element of or. So to do this on the number line, we'll draw our number line once again. Have 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now this time it's less than minus 1 and it's an element of or. So I'm going to draw a solid line and starting at minus 1 with an open circle. The open circle means that minus 1 is not included. And then to show that it's an element of or, I'll draw a solid line going this way everything less than minus 1 and my arrow at the end signifies that this goes on forever. Okay, if you have any questions please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.